All right, I'm going to do a video on my Monster Remote Feed Alcohol Stove. Oops, sorry. The uh, I had made this one, and I've showed a video on this, and it's a pretty nice stuff. I have a little bit of short, a little bit of a short line on here, but it it gives you two sizes. It gives you the larger size um, alcohol stove here, and you can take it apart like this, and then because it has this plastic ring in here, it seals when it's shut. And then you actually have to take the felt out of here. And I want to try and fix that where I have a spare piece of felt and fit that in there. And you have a smaller alcohol stove. Well, after looking at it a little more, I thought to myself, you know, they make all kinds of monster cans. And they use the same lid on all those cans. So, I thought about taking a 24-ounce can, which is just slightly smaller than this one. This is a 32-ounce. A 24-ounce can and making a different type of screw-on lid part. And they make a 12-ounce can. So I'm going to make a 12 ounce stove, which is just slightly larger than this one. So you'd have your smallest, next smallest, next size, and the final size would be this one here. So you'd have a four step, four step uh, stove where all you'd have to carry is three additional tops because each top would then screw into the base here like this. Oops, I'm sorry. Got to put this piece inside there first or else it doesn't wick through. So that piece then fits inside there and that's what allows it to wick up from that bottom one there. And you just screw it on. Just like you would a, uh, oops. You have to screw this way, not that way. And you just push it all down against the other one and it works perfectly. So, I hope to make four different size, just the lid and then the three different tops. And then what I'm going to do with these lids is I'm going to save my extra lids and when I'm not using, I actually have to get one more lid still, when I'm not using one, I'm going to go ahead and put a lid on it. And I'm trying, I'm going to try and find a cap for the bottom of this. I keep telling you I have one, but I don't leave it down here when I have it. I had a, uh, that's not going to fit that one. Can't tell on that one yet. It's pretty close to the size of the top of that. It might fit. But I'm, I have a Pringles lid. fits on this one here. I don't know what I do with it. I keep leaving it somewhere. Um, so that caps that side off. And then another cap, such as one of these, or one of these, I'm going to take out here, we'll screw on here. So I'll have two spare caps right now. Uh, I need to get one more spare cap. So when I'm not using any of them, when I just have this piece, that I don't have to worry about it leaking. Now, I won't have any kind of cap for this unless I can find some kind of little cap that fits on there. But with the indented uh, parts here, I don't know that anything will seal it tight. Uh, and I'll show you how I made the base of this. It's pretty simple, this whole part here. Uh, so that if you want to make one of your own, you can make it. Um, the trick to it is, obviously, you have to get a nipple and some hose and a cap. So in all those items, the nipple, the, co the, nipple, the hose, and the nipple with a cap built in, those three things all came from Mini Bull Design, uh, Tenny. Uh, I have found some other places to sell them, but uh, they're kind of hard to build, uh, and they're not perfect. Like, here's a nipple that was really large. It's much larger than one of Tenny, so that would work for the cap, because they're plastic caps, and you can kind of form them to whatever. And the hose I've found at um, uh, some hobby shops had this hose. So that's not a big deal. Where the problem comes in is this nipple that goes into the aluminum pipe. That is not the easiest thing to come by. Um, I have found one at a hobby shop, and they're a much smaller thread than what uh, Tenny uses. I think Tenny uses a 580. I don't. I I, I shouldn't quote that because I don't even know. Uh, but the ones that I found at the hobby shop are much smaller. And I'm just afraid they won't have that sturdiness that the ones Tinny Sales has. They're really thin, and I'm afraid they'd pop out too easy. So, all the rest of it's pretty easy do-it-yourself stuff. That's my next project. Uh, I'll show you that once I get going on it. Oh, I want to show you a few other things real quick. I'm, I sh this is one of my stoves I built. And it's a little odd. I'm not sure what I did it for. It's just fun. So it's these little um, silicone grabbers, I guess. I don't know what they are. Silicone cups. I'm not sure. And I made this little goofy stove, and I ha probably had it in a video at one point. 
I just siliconed it down to that. Uh, and it's a bunch of these uh, hard drive rings that I had, so it just, I don't know what I'm going to use it for. Just goofy. Like a suction cup on there. But it folds up. And just put the other one on top there. And then I put a little ranger band around it, which I'm not laying on my table either. I'm not going to go looking for it right now. A little ranger band on it and just store it in my pack like that. Uh, uh, goofy. Uh, another one that I did just recently here that I didn't really do a video on yet was this uh, old... Um, it was an old uh, compass that no longer worked. Uh, it needs to be... After it's used a few times, I think it'll shrink up and fit in there perfectly. But it's an old compass that was on a lanyard. And basically, I just opened it up. There's the compass parts. I mean, there's where the compass part would have been. And then, basically, you just put some kind of pot stand over it. And it makes, like, a little double burner. So it spreads your flame out a little bit bigger. Kind of neat. I don't know. I'll show you burning. And we'll, maybe when I get ready to put that together, I'll do a video on that burning as well. And one last thing I made since I did my last video, is I've made my first Elite-style stove. Um, these, uh, I had no idea. They burn really hot, like Tenny said. Uh, and I've never made one before. It was not easy to make. It took me a while to make this little thing. So I see why he doesn't like making them and sells them for what he sells them for. They are very difficult to make. In fact, uh, if you can see down inside there, that is the melted top of a spray paint can. Uh, for example, if this were my spray paint can, I set it on top of it and was using uh, my torch to enamel the edge of this, like he shows in one of his videos. And as I was doing that, the top of my can actually melted to the inside of my stove. It actually doesn't affect it. It works just fine with it, on, with it in there. I can't get it off. It's permanent inside there. It melted to the plastic lining of the can. Um, but this thing is awesome. It will literally um I'll show you real quick. I don't know how much fuel I need to show you, but I'll just put some fuel in there. Let me uh before I show you let me do this. Because you won't be able to oh. No, I lit it. Okay, so but it has not bloomed yet. Turn this off too. Alright, so I lit it, you saw me light it I guess, but you didn't see the flame system. Now look at this. Alrighty. That quick. That's amazing how fast this thing blooms. And, as Teddy mentioned, you really want to uh, have a pot on here before you burn these. Otherwise, they get too hot and they actually start to melt the can. So, that's why I'm putting it out because I don't have a pot of water on there right now. But, you really want to have a pot on there when you're trying to burn these things because these things get so hot, they'll start to actually form the can as you're burning them. I mean, you saw how fast that lit up. That was amazing. 15 seconds, maybe? I don't know. It was just amazing. And the flame on them is amazing. Once it gets bloomed and you put a pot on there, it's awesome. So, props to Tenny and his uh, elite stoves. Uh, a lot of work goes into those little things. And um, I don't know. what he, I forget what he sells them for. I think it's like 12 15 I don't know. It's pretty cheap. Uh, I made mine out of an ocean spray can because I have a bunch of them sitting around. Uh, this is the can I made it out of. I think he makes it out of some Red Bulls and some other things, but awesome little stove. I'm, I'm sure mine's not even in, uh, to the quality that Tenny's is. Nonetheless, just wanted to show you that. Um, that's all I had for today. Got a few more of these hard drive spindles. I couldn't find any of the small ones, so I have uh, four of the larger ones, and I don't know, that may be just too large to make a stove out of. In comparison how large... I'm blinding you guys. That's pretty amazing. In comparison how large that is... Man... It's a lot larger than even this one. I don't know if I can use it for a stove or not. Anyways, I had a bunch of them. And these are the metal ones. That's the only reason I saved them. A lot of times you get glass ones, and they're not good for anything because they're glass. But those were some metal ones I had, so I saved them. All right, that's all for today. Uh, we'll put that other monster can together sometime this weekend, maybe, and do a video on that. Take care, everyone.